welcome back to another episode of Cinnabon Sundays, a weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny. I'm Morgan, Cinnabon's Bun Mom, and today we are doing a favorites video. Over on my Instagram page, we have been doing a series of Amazon bunny favorites on our reels, and you guys have been really loving them, like more so than I ever thought. So for this video, I thought I would do some Amazon favorites, some small business favorites, just like any bunny item that you could imagine. I also want to apologize for my thumbs, both are bandaged. I um, I had SNS nails and I left them on too long and yeah, my nails are not well. So just like ig ignore my fingers, please. I'm begging you, just don't look at them. So for this favorites video, I actually have a bunny favorite section and a bun parent section. So stuff for everybody. The very first thing I wanna talk about is a bunny toy and it is these Hey Lollipops here. I am sure that if you follow us in any capacity, you have seen these lollipops before. They are awesome. They're made by Oxbow and they're like a Timothy Hay based lollipop. Now they do have a few other ingredients, so I wouldn't give these to your bunnies freely, but they're a really good treat toy. I will give these to Cinnabon if I know I'm gonna be out of the house for a while or if she's just like really extra chewy that day and it will keep her entertained for so long. Plus it's a yummy treat. Next up along the line of hay are hay treats. Hay based treats are such a good alternative to regular treats to give your bunnies. Now I will give Cinnabon regular treats from time to time and by regular treats I mean treats made out of like a fruit and oat flour, but these are just such a nice healthy alternative. Oat flour, while in moderation is fine, it's kind of like eating lots of carbs for human beings, like if you were to eat cake every day or cookies every day. It's not something you really want to do. Same for your bunnies. So these are such a good alternative. These specific treats I got from Binky Pastry. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. They're little teddy bears. And oh my gosh, Cinnabon just loves them. They're tiny, they're much healthier because they're just made with pellets, hay, and these are made with a little veggie. So they're a really nice option. Oh my gosh, they're great. My next item I do not have on hand because Cinnabon already ate it. It is Willow Baskets. These are the number one toy for Cinnabon. She loves Willow and there's something about the basket texture that's just her favorite to chew from. I got my Willow Baskets from the Binky Bunnies. I ordered a pack of three actually. And when I say that it was gone in like a week, it was crazy. These full baskets, you can put hay in them, you can put forage, you can fill them with stuff. So then they're eating the snack that's inside, but also the basket. It's a really healthy chew toy for your bunny. It'll keep them entertained forever. And it's multifunctional. Really recommend Willow Baskets if you haven't used these before. Another chew toy that I would recommend are palm leaf bowls. Now, if you do follow us on Instagram, then you have seen us raving about these. We got the inspiration for palm leaf bowls from Bun Mom Makes because she sent us a palm leaf bowl in one of our packages and Cinnabon ate it in a day. Palm leaf is healthy for bunnies, so as long as the bowls you're ordering are made with 100% palm leaf and not treated with any chemicals, you are fine. This specific bowl came from our friends at Floppy Buntique, but you can also get a giant pack of them on Amazon, which I will have linked below as well. This is the ultimate toy to give your bunny when you go to bed at night and you want them to be entertained. I do recommend not giving one to your bunny every single day, just because it's like, Moderation is key, right? You don't wanna just give your bunny all of this because they might chew on this instead of their hay. But like once every other day or so, such a good toy and it's super affordable. My next two bunny favorites are both food related. The first one is another kind of treat, it's goji berries. These are the best little training treats. So goji berries, they're, they're a berry, but they're like really dried and small so they don't have nearly as much sugar as say like a blueberry. They still are berries though, so they are treats, so you want to feed in moderation, but they're just such a nice, healthy alternative to feeding a lot of treats. These are a superfood of antioxidants. Antioxidants just help fight disease, just fight things inside of your bunny's body, so it's a nice little immune booster on top of the treat. Now again, like I said, these are still a treat, so feed in moderation. Do not feed to your bunny if they're under six months of age, and just like be smart about what you're feeding your bun. You can't see because of the camera, but I actually have a special guest right here. Here's your little thing. Do you like goji berries? Yes, yes, please. Yum. Give this video a thumbs up if you're a big fan of the little scent and bun cameos where she just appears out of nowhere. I mean, come on. Before I go on, do you guys say herb or herb? Comment down below because I have always grown up saying herb just in the area of the United States that I'm from. It's what everybody says. And I quickly am learning that everywhere else in the world, you guys say herb. And it like, for me, it feels so weird. I can't say the H, it's so hard. So let me know. I am getting slandered for saying it, but I swear people do say it without the H. Just, um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Last bunny favorite is an herb. 
It is dill. Now dill is Cinnabon's absolute favorite veggie. Dill is really low in calcium and oxalic acid. Calcium and oxalic acid, those are things that can lead to kidney problems, digestive issues, weight gain, just all sorts of not great things in your tummy. So when you're looking for greens for your bunny, you really wanna find greens that are low in both of those things. Now dill is low in both, which is awesome. And it's such a yummy herb for them to eat. Cinnabon goes bananas over dill. After she got her spay, the only veggie that would get her to eat was dill. So if you have not given your bunny dill yet, I definitely recommend. It's a crowd favorite. At least when I say crowd, I mean um, a crowd of one, which is Cinnabon, but she loves it. Now we are moving on into the bun parent favorite section, which I am just so excited for. The first thing I have on here, I have preached about many times before, and it is an air purifier. Listen up. If you are a pet parent, not just a bun parent, if you're a pet parent and you don't own an air purifier, pause this video right now, click the link in my description, and go buy one. You need this. This is not me just being like, oh, it's a great, wonderful thing to have. No, it will change your life. Air purifiers literally clean. They do what they say. They purify the air. They suck the dust out of the air so that you're not living in a space that's filled with fur and hay dust and just all sorts of other dust that bunnies, pets, whatever, bring along. Not only that, but if you have a fun, spunky bunny like little Miss Cinnabon here, <laughs> They might enjoy sitting on top of it like Cinnabon does, but seriously, get yourself an air purifier. I have my favorite one linked below, but any air purifier will work. My next one is a little bit more of a pricey item, but I definitely recommend it. It is a Roomba. I got mine on a Black Friday sale this year, and it's one of those things where now that I have a Roomba, hello, I'm like, how did I live without my Roomba? I run that thing every single day. I wouldn't use it as my main vacuum to clean up Cinnabon's area. Like I separately clean her area every day, but just having a pet bunny, there's just hay that kind of like travels throughout your home. There's fur that floats around, there's dust. It's just, it can get really dirty very quickly. So the Roomba is just the perfect thing to just go around your house, clean all of that just like random dust up and just keep your home feeling clean. So between my air purifier and my Roomba, my one bedroom apartment still feels very, very clean, even though I live with a bunny. Last thing on the cleaning side is I actually have a hand vacuum that I got on Amazon. I think it was like 40 bucks. It's just a dirt devil hand vacuum. This is great. Now there are so many fancy vacuums that you can use out there. Looking at you, Dyson, don't worry. I still want to get you, but for now, this is what I'm using. I really like this hand vacuum for cleaning Cinnabon's area. Like I said, I clean Cinnabon's little bun area every single morning. I only clean it once a day and I use this hand vacuum. It's great because I can just go into the hay and just everything that she's left out in the night and just clean it right up. I think it works great. It's really portable. So when I travel with Cinnabon, I can just throw it into my car. And again, it was a really low price. So yes, having a really fancy, nice vacuum is great. Really, you just need something like this to like really easily get in. My next favorite might sound weird to mention in a bunny favorites video, but I swear it really does help me keep organized with having a bunny. It is my doing well daily journal. It is just the best planner I've ever had. I always have prided myself on being a very organized gal, hashtag Morganized, and I find with having a pet, you really need to have all of your ducks in a row. There's a lot of little things that you need to keep up with from day to day with your bun, and if you're a bun, Instagram, YouTube, squad like we are, there's even more things to add on to your busy day. This planner is really nice because it doesn't go by date. It's more just like a daily to-do list and you can kind of pick it up whenever, so if you don't fill it out one day, it's fine. There's a note section so you can add like all sorts of notes like about your bunny's diet, your bunny's feeding schedule, there's your to-do area, there's just so many nice sections in there to really spell out your day. So if you're someone who has a pet, has like a little side hustle and a normal job on top of it, this is just the best planner for you. I promise, it's amazing, I love it. And then my very last bunny favorite is kind of a weird one, but stick with me here. It's jazz music. Every morning when I'm cleaning Cinnabon space, feeding her, just spending that morning time with her, I have Alexa play like a comfy, cozy jazz playlist. And it is so relaxing. I think that it's really nice just for your bunny to have other sounds to stimulate them that's very calm and soothing. And it's just really lovely and creates such a mood when you're like cleaning up, setting up your bunny's zone and just like have your jazz music playing. It just like, it just elevates the everyday experience. I'm telling you, you really should hop on it if you're not on the jazz music trend. <sighs> 
Hi, hello, it is actually me popping in from the future while I'm editing this video, but I actually wanted to share two more quick items that I think are just the best favorites for bunny parents. The first one I'm wearing is this sweatshirt, actually. It is a custom embroidered sweatshirt that says Sincerely Cinnabon, which I am obsessed with. Like, it's just like this wonderful neutral color. You can pick any sweatshirt color you want and any thread color you want, and this is from Shop Honey Pup. They actually specialize like in things for pets, but they have have these shirts that you can get to say anything you want and I am just in love. You could have it say like bunnies are greater than people, whatever, any type of bunny swag that you want, this is the perfect way to do it. Just for size reference, I am wearing a medium. I sized up for it to be like oversized and baggy and cozy and I'm obsessed. I think this is the sand color. Oh, I just wanted to share. And the second thing is this necklace here that has a C and a little heart and a little bunny rabbit. And I am just so thankful because our friends, Basil the Mini Lops sent this over as a gift, but it's from Bush Bunny Co. And I just think it is such a sweet way to think about your bunny and commemorate your little bun without being like too in your face. You can get your bunny's letter on it. I love it. So I just wanted to share these two items that I happen to be sporting today if you were looking to get yourself a little bit of like bun parent swag. Okay, thank you so much again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next Sunday. Bye buns.